Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Seraph and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. This is my video number three for the September 2022 Spooky Treats and I will show you those. These cute little treat boxes. Um, yep, I'm not doing any, just like any of them. <laughs> I changed it up um, just for my preference. Um, I want to use these slip covers for other projects because I was really had a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to do um, with this kit and it took me a while to figure it out but I have it so um, video number one I showed you where I altered their boxes and video number two I did a couple of uh, showing you how I cut up my black and orange little boxes. I want to show you their box. This is a white one. You got, uh, there were 18 in all and I needed like 24. So this is the design of the box. I cut this tab off, this tab, this tab here, and I cut an inch off from this side to make my own box. Um, I'm going to show you one of those. This is the little orange one. Now mine opens like this and yes, I purposely made it. So this is the front. Mostly, most people would do it the back. I liked that you could open it this way. And these were little felt stickers I had in my little Halloween box. I had all that prepped and some little, uh, Halloween confetti I've had for a couple of years now. So let me show you, uh, I have measurements. We're going to make our box out of cardstock. So I'm bringing in all of my boxes. You cannot quite see all of them, but you get an idea. This is with Sweet Sorbet and Celebrate Everything um, paper. I use the rectangle postage punch um, for that. These are more of those little stickers. I have enough now. I need two more for my grandson's um class so I did them in sweet sorbet um orchid oasis which was the spot this month this is the parakeet party so you can see the orange and the black ones that came with it so let me show you I gotta set these over here so that nothing happens to them they were sitting in my chair so where's my second whiteboard I just wrote on it Oh, I know. Okay. So here is the measurements for um, my altered treat box. So here is the one we're going to start with. I already have one. I'm going to show you how to score it. I already have it cut out. I'll go over a few things about that. So this is eight inches. Uh, by seven and uh, am I in camera? Yes, so I need to keep my hands about right here. So eight by seven So that is your piece of cardstock on the seven inch side you need to score it one two five and six on the eight inch side You need to score it two and a half three and a half six and seven <coughs> Note to self make yourself a template it it, it helps tremendously you don't know it just helps so and then you will need two pieces of dsp cut it two and three fourths by two and a quarter now you could make those dsp smallers and layer them up i am using some mix mash of retired dsp just for getting my grandson's boxes done because i want to save the stuff so this was from cute halloween i have those two now this one is short by a quarter of an inch, but it's going to work because these kids are going to tear these boxes up. They ain't going to keep them. So I am using this piece. Uh, I think I'm going to do the black. No, we might do. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm using these two pieces, these four pieces for my boxes for today. The box I'm, we're going to put together, I'm using the pink. I have little felt stickers. I have three left. So... Uh, probably will do. I don't know which one yet. <laughs> Just can't think. What else are we going to use? I have one and three quarter inch circle punches. I have, this was already done in my little Halloween box. I'll show you. 
see, I had all these circles, so I thought I would use them ah, as stars go out of my little confetti bags. But then I found this piece of, uh, I want to say it's Mango Melody. Nope, it's Crushed Curry. Um, this piece, um, I found those, so I thought I'm going to keep with the yellow ones because on the other boxes I did those. We're using Black Memento, the uh, stamp set, that the stamp from the set that says Enjoy This Spooky Treat, the Happy Halloween. I don't want to move my camera yet, but for stamping purposes, I will when it's time. Let's bring my cutter in. And I'm going to stand up and make sure, yes. So I'm going to need the arm out. Means I got to use my, move my box. Here we go. I'm going to stand up and do this. So I've already got a couple of score lengths. I wanted to make sure I did it right. So these are, they go this way. No. Mm, see, this is what I mean. You need a template. It goes this way. There we have it. So I already did the scoring for the 8 inch side, but we're going to go for it. Now, if you have this trimmer, the dark one, you know, is the cutter blade. The light one is our scoring blade. We need that scoring blade. So our piece of cardstock is um, 7 by 8. On the 8 inch side... We scored, Ugh, it won't quite fit. We scored it one, we scored it two. Did I just do this wrong? This is the eight inch side. Oh, I have it going the wrong direction, that's why. I'm like, that should be two and a half, three and a half, yes. Okay, that's why I have my template. Two and a half, we start our score. We moved to three and a half. We scored. We scored at six. And we scored at seven. Okay. We had all that done. I'm turning it now to the seven inch side. We're going to start scoring at one. Not cutting, but scoring. So score at one. Score at two. Score at five and score at six. Now, the reason why I also told you to get your template is I labeled mine top and bottom. You set that on there and now you can mark, which I did do. I took a little pencil because the pieces I'm removing, I'm putting in my scrap bin. I might be able to use them. So I'm Xing all of these little boxes. Well, they're boxes because of the scoring. I'm Xing everything I need to cut out. Just putting a little X with the pencil. Okay. So that shows me everything I need to cut out. I already have one cut out for you in the orchid oasis and you can see that's what i've removed then i came along and um i took my snips scissors whatever you got and i pie shaped all of my edges except for the bottom piece because i want that nice and straight this, this one i missed it should be a little bit more so, and I cut little pie wedges. That's why I just take a little slice of pie out of all those edges. So I'm going to sit down now and I'm going to fold this box up for you. And I like to do it with, this is my top. That's why I labeled it top and bottom. It just helped me to keep it straight. And I can already tell you, I cut these going the wrong direction. Those are right. No. Those are all wrong, but they will work. It, it, trust me, I've done it so many different ways, it works. But sometimes I just can't get it exact every time. So, but it works. I will show you. It really does. So, we are scoring from all these boxes. I got it down. So, we're going to use score tape on 
our pieces. Yeah. Kind of hard doing it like that. I'm just going to turn it. So now that we have everything where we want, this is going to come up like so. So we need to place sticky strip tear tape, whatever you want to call it. I am placing a piece here and I don't need like 10,000 pieces on here. It, that's just insane. You can see this is the side. We don't want tape there and trust me, I have put it there. Yes, I have. I need some more. That piece looks like it might fit along here all the way. And you just really need one piece and you need it. I'll show you. Wrong, right. You want it closest to the fold there, okay? And I need to cut that off. That's why I usually use scissors for this. So we're going to put another piece here. And I'm going to take that off and just lay that on top of it. And that should do it. So we're going to remove all of our tape. And yet yeah, I'm going to remove it all at one time. Just the way I, I roll here. And you should really rub it down with the bone folder, but not totally necessary. Uh, there we go. So now we're going to lift up our box. And how are we going to do this? Well, since I cut the tabs going the wrong way, I am going to bring them together like so. Hopefully this is well in camera. So I'm going to show you again with the other side, just like that, give it a little pinch together and it will stick. Now I'm going to push that one on the outside, bring these two sides together, and then this one will just tuck in like so. And there, my friends, is my little spooky treat altered box. And I knew I needed to cut those more. You need a bit of a nice wedge of pie cut out, but I do tend to wait until I get it folded. You could do it. In fact, some of them, I took it like this corner to corner. You could probably even cut them off if you so liked, but I like to leave them on there. Just a little tuck. And that I just so, so cute. And you could put um, a little string from here to here and make a little handle. I'm going to do that on the Christmas ones. But these are the Halloween from my grandson's classroom. So I'm going to bring my camera down now. And hopefully that was in as this is my second taping. I told you we're using this cute Halloween. So two and three quarters by one by two and three quarters by two and a quarter. We're going to set that right on top. I did not feel the need to layer up these with another piece of coordinating cardstock because like I said, these are for children. They may not even make it home from school. You know what I'm saying? And um, they are cute as a button, just as. They are. Yes, it's upside down, but he's so cute. So let's turn him back the right way. Okay. But oh, he's so cute. Yeah. I did that a lot with this DSP <laughs> as I remember. So we want, helps me remember the opening is our front of our box. So we could do our little hat here. We could do a witch's shoe. Those are the same. So that's what I have available. But let's get to our stamping. I want my stamp and pierce mat. I want my little uh, sheet, mailing sheet that came with it. Let's move that out of the way. So I needed one more block for our little bats. We're using those. Now, 
in video number one and two, I showed you where I cut all these little strips off. I told you I was keeping them because I could use them. I am. I'm using the reverse side. This is what I did all of my Happy Halloween with. So let's start with that. So we took Happy Halloween. I'm going to stamp the whole thing up on this piece here. I just want to make sure I get the Halloween on there and I have to do it kind of sideways to see it where I need it to be because I'm going to be cutting happy off. Let's see. Very good. Now I'm just going to ink up the happy and whatever else comes on there. Stick that on there. There we go. Um, let's get the rest of our stamping. So we're going to use this crushed curry. Or I'm thinking, no, it's not Summer Sun. I'm like, is that that old Summer Sun paper? But I don't think it's not. Enjoy the spooky treat. We went kind of bottom of our circles. Then we're going to stamp our little bats on the top. And I'm doing both of these because when I'm done with this video, I'm going to put finish the parakeet party box and that means i need another happy halloween huh mm. well i will stamp that off camera well you don't need to see it because it's just going on the other box so let's get our pieces we need this out of the way since we know how oh, it's going to cover our spooky little guy upside down so we are going to glue this one on what some would call the front, I'm calling it the back of my box. In there, it's that simple. The front, however, put that one aside. We need the happy and the Halloween. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this as straight as I can. And trim it down. And then I'm taking, eh, mango melody believe it or not that's what i have used on the others that's going to keep it going with this one so the others i did get out and i cut them all with my guillotine it's just this is easier and handier so i have my little sponge with some mango melody still left over from the other videos yesterday and I don't need to add any to it. So I'm using what is already on this old sponge. There we go. I'm going to move my scrap pieces away. Now I'm thinking I definitely want the little witch's hat. Happy. Let's see. Halloween. Yes. So I'm going to add some glue. My witch's hat will get glued on the last thing. Yep. I think these are darling little boxes, especially since they're going to be destroyed by little hands. Don't have too many more years and my grandson will be like in middle school soon. I mean, he's growing up so fast, I won't be able to do this. I did this kind of stuff when my kids were in school so there's my little sticker now you do have the all of the embellishments let me show you that if you don't have these little felt stickers you have the spider the ghost you can make more ghosts you can make more little spider webs with things um so this is just me showing you what i have done so next i have can't forget the little confetti pieces okay they are just too darn sweet and cute. And I'm putting these on the front. So we're going to do the jack lantern right here. Going to do the bat and the little ghost here. You can use, I've used the uh, glue dots. Just I don't have them out at the moment. So I'm going to do my little ghost. And my little jack-o'-lantern right there in the corner. And that, friends, is my altered treat box using 
um, the Orchid Oasis uh, cardstock. And I love the fact that I still now have plenty of things to do with my kit um, other than boxes. <laughs> And I do have ideas. I won't have as many as last month's paper pumpkin kit, but I will have some and that makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a try if you need extra treat boxes. Um, and you can always, let me show you, this box. Okay, this was made to all fold in. You guys can see videos of that. But these here you could instead of cutting dsp you would get one of these would do each and you would have a little extra by simply cutting it there cutting it there i just chose to try to do um different ideas different things with what was in my kit and that's why i'm showing this to you so i got plenty now to come up with other ideas so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you again in my wonderland. Bye bye now.